One of the most frequently asked questions about Avid Symphony is, how does it differ from Media Composer? When all is said and done, both Media Composer and Symphony are nearly identical in look, feel, and functionality. But there are some key differentiators that add speed and functionality to Avid Symphony, most significantly being its advanced color correction capabilities. Building on Media Composer's primary color correction tools, the HSL tools have been expanded to allow the user to actually define the luma ranges of highlights, shadows, and midtones within an image. This gives you greater precision when making adjustments to discrete parts of the image. The addition of the Levels group provides easy-to-use histogram-based controls for adjusting the relative brightness or darkness of an image to rebalance the color or luma range. Precise control over the amount of contrast and detail can be made to the entire image as well as the individual color channels. Symphony's Channels group has the power to redefine each output color channel by blending different input color components in various proportions. It's also very useful for viewing each channel in monochrome, giving you the ability to check and correct the contrast or noise in each channel. The benefit to this ability is that channels that exhibit deficiencies with contrast or noise can often be repaired by borrowing from other channels. While Luma ranges, levels, and channels are examples of Symphony's augmented primary color correction controls, Avid Symphony also offers a toolset for secondary color correction. These tools give editors the ability to isolate a vector within the image and easily remap just that vector to different hue and saturation values. All color correction operations in Avid Symphony are done at the clip or source level, as well as at the track or program level. This effectively gives you two real-time channels of color correction for each shot. Source corrections are ideal for fixing problems with your source material. Since it can be applied at once to the entire track, program color corrections are well suited to applying creative looks such as color casts to the sequence. Looking closer at Symphony's source side effects options reveals the most powerful and unique aspect of Symphony's color correction capabilities. It's a technique known as relational color correction. Simply by correcting a single shot, those corrections can be applied automatically throughout the timeline for every instance of that master clip. For tape-based projects, the correction can be applied to any shot that came from that tape. A tape that has a very common problem such as a bad white balance or lighting issues can be cleaned up with a few mouse clicks. Even if new shots are added to the timeline after the fact, Symphony can apply the same color correction parameters with a simple update. Avid Symphony editors frequently credit this functionality with helping them finish their projects much faster than if they were using other solutions. Maximizing the work that an editor has already done is a recurring concept in Avid Symphony, not just for corrections done to a single shot, but also to entire timelines. It's often the case that multiple versions of a sequence will be cut by the same or more than one editor. Corrections done on one sequence can be merged automatically onto the other sequence. In addition to Symphony's increased color correction capabilities, it also has a powerful feature known as Universal Mastering. Enabled by the connection of a Nitrous DX box, Universal Mastering gives editors the flexibility to cross-convert their 1080p sequences from their native frame rate to alternate frame rates in real time and with audio conversion that matches the video conversion. There are a growing number of color correction options and solutions on the marketplace today. And via the AAF protocol, Media Composer and Symphony work very well with them. But having tools as powerful as Symphony's color correction integrated right into the editing toolset make the process of color correction truly nonlinear. No time or metadata is lost doing a round trip to a third party application. And nobody knows better than an editor that time is money. For the most up to date information on the features and pricing of Avid Symphony, visit avid.com/symphony. <laughs>